Where will the water come from? That's a question Valley cities are, are now asking. After the seven states along the Colorado River submitted their latest plan to reduce their water allocations. In recent years, with the drastic drying up of the Colorado River, scientists are terrified with the things that are being discovered about the river, as well as within the river itself. The Colorado River is one of the principal rivers, along with the Rio Grande in the southwestern United States and in northern Mexico. The 2,330-kilometer river drains an expansive, arid watershed encompassing parts of seven U.S. and two Mexican states. The Colorado River, which means red or reddish river in Spanish, was frequently confused by Spanish explorers with the Brazos River to the north. The European discoverer of these two neighboring rivers called the present Colorado River the Brazos de Dios and called the present Brazos the Colorado River. Its headwaters are in the Rocky Mountains where La Padre Pass Lake is its source. Located in north central Colorado, it flows southwest through the Colorado Plateau country of western Colorado, southeastern Utah and northwestern Arizona where it flows through the Grand Canyon. Colorado and other states have agreed to limit Colorado River water use significantly. The Colorado River flows from the Continental Divide through seven towns and two countries, covering 260,000 square meters. It supplies 36 million people with drinking water and exports more than any other U.S. river. Scientists worry that its flow will continue to diminish until the water disappears. What exactly terrifies the scientists about the drying up of the infamous Colorado River? Let's dig deep and find out. The Colorado River's drought is due to weather instability which has lowered water levels. Industrial farming has depleted water supplies and produced vast food crops. Seven cities, including Colorado, split water resources to determine water strength and the annual draw. The Colorado River Compact negotiators failed to plan for the future, depleting Lake Mead, which supplies Los Angeles with water and many disappear along with the Colorado River. San Diego and Denver may lose their water supply and five people's bones were recovered in a dry region of Lake Mead due to the dwindling waters. The Colorado River is revealing dark secrets, and scientists believe the water level will permanently drop by 5 to 20 feet in 40 years. The medical examiner has collected body parts to identify the dead and determine their causes. A man's rotting body was recovered in a barrel near the reservoir's Hemingway Fishing Pier, 20 kilometers from Coralville Police. Lake Mead also had the B-29 bomber's remains. How can we improve? Will evaporation worsen the Colorado River? First, what do you know about the Colorado River? The Colorado River originates at the Continental Divide. From there, it flows through seven cities and two nations, covering a total area of about 260,000 square meters. This is shocking, but true. The Colorado River makes up about 8% of the continental United States, which is a significant amount for a river as it flows through major cities like Colorado, California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah. This river is very large, but it's not just known for its size. In fact, it's widely regarded as the hardest working river in the entire West due to the fact that it serves about 36 million people across the continental U.S. As a result, the waters of this great river have a variety of uses. For example, it provides drinking water to about 36 million people, which means that its waters have a variety of uses. What is happening to the Colorado River, or why is the Colorado River drying up? In ABC tubs, the river is disappearing. The Colorado River flows forcefully into the Mexican Gulf every year at a ratio of about 16.3 million acre-feet at a speed of about 340 cubic meters per second, which is equivalent to 22,500 cubic feet per second, which has been very concerning for the entire United States for decades. Colorado River provides the most amount of exported water. Again, the Colorado River exports more water than any other river in the United States. However, all of this is past now as the river's current is not particularly impressive. In fact, the Colorado River has been the subject of the most regulations and legal disputes in the entire nation since the 1900s. In contrast, the Colorado River has decreased by 20 percent and scientists worry that this decline will continue until the water completely vanishes. But what is the root cause of the river's problem? Rivers drought. The issue with the Colorado River stems from a number of different places. However, the primary cause of the river's drought will surprise you. Therefore, hold on tight while we discuss the specifics. First, 
One of the reasons why the Colorado River is decreasing in size is the instability of the weather conditions. As straightforward as this may sound, it has had a significant impact on the water levels in the Colorado River. To put it another way, there has been instability in the region's recent rain and snowfall. Humans. As was previously mentioned, the Colorado River is a source of irrigation for more than 2 million hectares of agricultural land. Surprisingly, nearly three-quarters of the water in the Colorado River is diverted to serve as irrigation for crops. It appears that humans are also very responsible for the dry landscape along the Colorado River. This is due to the fact that they practice industrial farming, which has been steadily reducing the amount of water in the area by irrigating vast areas of agriculture. This has led to an enormous harvest of food crops, but of course, this is to the detriment of the river. So as the water continues to go down, scientists have become really disturbed as they predict that water levels will likely reach to the deadpool points in the coming years. The implication is that the water will become too low to flow into dams or get a turbine working to produce electricity. How many states does the Colorado River run through? The Colorado River can be found in all seven of these states. It begins as a collection of little streams in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado and is also nourished by tributaries that originate in Wyoming. And from there, it winds its way south and west for a total of 1,450 miles until it reaches the Gulf of California in Mexico. The water is distributed to the states that are considered to be in the upper basin, which are Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, and New Mexico, and the states that are considered to be in the lower basin, which are California, Arizona, and Nevada. The states that make up the upper basin have fewer reservoirs, and as a result, water is taken from the river at hundreds of different points to supply agriculture and other consumers. The upper basin needs to adjust its consumption more so that it takes into account years that are both wet and dry. Every year, the states that make up the lower basin are responsible for regulating the amount of water that is drawn from enormous reservoirs like Lake Powell and Lake Mead. If the water levels in these reservoirs drop too low, they risk reaching a state known as Deadpool. At that point, water would be effectively blocked from passing through Glen Canyon Dam on Lake Powell and Hoover Dam on Lake Mead, cutting off the lifeline to approximately 25 million people who get their water from Lake Mead. Glen Canyon Dam is located in the United States. Hoover Dam is located in the United States. Will Colorado ever be restored? This question has been resounding throughout the entire state at a time when tension is rising and you want answers. Thankfully, scientists have covered us, but this time there's some bad news. According to them, the water levels might never be full again. This also has to do with the climate. It's been predicted that the water level will permanently decrease by 5 to 20 feet in the next 40 years. Once again, because there is less precipitation in the Rocky Mountains, there is less water, so water flow will reduce. Additionally, as the temperature rises, the water flow will decrease and finally there will be less water because there will be less. What are water rights? Whoever has water rights on the Colorado River is the one who has the authority to remove water from the river. They are controlled by a complex set of laws, judicial rulings, contracts, and rules that are together referred to as the law of the river. They are also based on seniority. Over the course of the last century, there have been a number of significant achievements in regard to these rights. As part of an agreement reached in 1922 and referred to as the Colorado River Compact, these seven states were given varying degrees of access to the river's water. After another 20 years, in 1944, a deal was signed that guaranteed Mexico a certain share of the river. Because to these accords, the United States of America and Mexico will be able to share a combined total of 17.5 million acre-feet of water resources. However, the natural flow of the river has been significantly lower than that in recent years. In the case known as Arizona versus California, which was heard by the Supreme Court in 1963, the justices decided that California would receive 4.4 million of the first 7.5 million acre feet that flow into the states of the lower basin, while Arizona would receive 2.8 million and Nevada would receive 300,000. After another five years, in 1968, the federal government gave its approval to construct the Central Arizona Project which is a system of canals that carry water from the Colorado River across the state of Arizona. In exchange, Arizona committed to junior water rights, which means that in the event of a shortage, California would receive its portion of the available water before Arizona. Dark secrets in the Colorado River are emerging. 
As a result of the damage caused by the drying waters of the Colorado River and the terrifying things that emerged from them, the bones of five people have been discovered in a dry portion of Lake Mead. This discovery comes as a shock to the authorities because the remains were human skeletal parts that were recovered by U.S. National Park Rangers close to Coralville Bay. The medical examiner has gathered these body pieces in order to identify the deceased and determine the potential causes of their deaths. The remains were discovered by rangers at a U.S. National Park. A man's decomposing body was discovered tucked inside a barrel near the reservoir Hemingway Fishing Pier, about 20 miles from the Coralville Police Station. It has been determined that the victim was killed in the 1970s based on his clothing and shoes, which is a shocking way that the Metropolitan Police Department was alerted to a somewhat murder case by the draining river. While investigations are still ongoing, it has been determined that the victim was killed in the 1970s. In addition, the skeletal remains of an American bomber known as the B-29, which weighed 140,556 pounds, were discovered in Lake Mead. The bomber that crashed many years ago was en route from China to California when something went wrong. On July 20th, 1948, it had been flown to a test area close to Lake Mead for a high-latitude atmospheric research mission. Thankfully, no one was wounded when the plane went down in the lake at 12.13 p.m., despite the unfortunate circumstances. Lieutenant Paul Hessler and Staff Sergeant David Burns were both members of the crew who were present on the ship. The pilot at first thought the airplane was flying off at a height of approximately 400 feet over the surface of the lake, but it turned out that the problem was with his alternator. We appreciate you taking the time to watch the video today. What steps do you believe can be taken to make the situation better now that it has concluded? If the water in the Colorado River evaporates, will the river become more dangerous? Do you have any theories about the drying up and terrifying discoveries of the Colorado River? Do share in the comments section below. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe and press the notification bell for future updates on more exciting mysteries. See you next time.